Nice. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't quite stop at the top, look. <laughs> nice of that tree to fall down there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my God. So the day is here, it's finally done got the bike now I know a lot of you've been waiting and wondering what was going on so here it is uh, as I'd said in previous edits I was waiting for an XL reach medium standover and as I got closer to it I started wondering whether I'd made the right decision and I spoke to Dan Stanton about it and he said look try it if you don't like it we'll have another plan and they got another plan for me I tried it I wasn't really that keen. It was a bit too long for me. I struggled to pull the front end up and I struggled on some of the tighter turns. And I realized that I was completely happy with my large reach, small standover bike. So the decision was made that they reconditioned it. And here it is. What do you reckon? So the color itself, we have named, they've never done it before, we have named um, COVID Caramel. It's quite hard to see on video. I'll try and show you in a minute with the sun on it, but it's like a mixture of gold, silver and black with a real sparkle in it. Um, like I said, it's a 15 inch standover and a 470 reach which is the white one basically I had before. It looked absolutely brand new. The back end itself actually is brand new. Um, they've got my name on the inside of the chain stay, pinned on the outside, both sides. Um, the only real new things I've got is I am running this prototype new chain device from Unite Components. Uh, the color itself on this um, on the logos that's basically uh, Olin's yellow so you've got the pinned on both sides got the Stanton logo up there Invisi frame obviously I had it in busy frame did it myself actually I do it all do it more myself I'm not perfect at it but it's fine um, everything else is pretty much as it was the graphics are super cool look at that on the envies Beautiful. And Vizzy Frame did me these graphics here on the forks. Uh, there. Um, running, like I said before, we've got the Unite bar stem and we've got the DMR death grips. But pretty much nothing else has changed really. So that is why I didn't do a build video because I will, I'll link that here because obviously I've already done one of it when it was built as a white bike and the only thing really that's changed is a chain device and the colour. But there is a little, little extra bit to this. Some of it we kept, well, I was going to say we kept quiet. I couldn't keep quiet about it. I didn't know about it. Um, when we got this frame, something else turned up. Check this out. Todd's got a new bike. So he's got same colour, the COVID Caramel, but obviously he's got the full yellow graphics on his wheels. Um, and then he's got the blue components. So his is all the same as it was before. Um, I'm going to go and get him now and tell him that uh, I've got to do some suspension setting and we'll see how we react say eh? come on let's go get him um, so I just need you to have a sit on it and see what you think really what? so uh, Is that along, my back end in there? along with the my new frame 
we also had another new frame that we didn't know about and it's a complete surprise from Stanton and uh, it's your new frame it's a 16 and a half instead of your 15 yeah 29 but it's got your 650 set up on it but we're it'll run it'll all run fine like that because it's got the 650 back end yeah and then then at some point we'll get some 29 forks we'll maybe go mullet, mullet. 29 front wheel and then we'll get um what do you think that's so good matching set nobody knew about that no what do you say to stanton thank you mr stanton peoples everyone at stanton so fortunately for us eastridge is local so we're going to get up there tomorrow and we're gonna give both these bikes a good testing. Nothing too gnarly, just the usual tracks, no jumps, just a bit of fun, and uh, see how they are. All right. Hello. Here we are, East Ridge Woods, again, the local. Um, so this is it, this is the first ride you excited yeah first ride what's the difference in uh, do you know the difference in reach uh, yeah my old one was 15 inch height and now it's 16 and a half inch and the reach was 410 on the old one and it's 445 now so it's probably just under uh, 35 here's 25 is an inch i think I oh, so it's about just over an inch maybe an inch and a half longer so could be interesting yeah, what do you know what a difference that would make uh more planted on climbs and more stable on downhills yeah. yeah. so now we are at the moment currently both of us sticking with the flats first thing i did when i set this up is i set it up to my clips seat height and i've realized straight away i had to put the seat down about half an inch because uh I don't know it's a taller platform on a clip shoe so yeah there they are in their natural habitat broad daylight looking beautiful so first bit of downhill on the new bike can't notice anything mad yet Woo. other than i can hear my mech feel it bouncing around and that's just because it's pretty knackered little snapshot of beautiful Shropshire why don't we do the new track one. the one our friend made That's about the biggest jump you'll get at Eastridge. This probably doesn't look it on camera, but it is pretty steep. I'm taking it easy, because obviously Boris hasn't ungrounded us yet but uh, it's tonight where he's making an announcement you will already know what that announcement is by the time this vlog is out hopefully allowed out who knows well, hey <laughs> Of course, these trails aren't Maginali unless you're trying to sort of race them or trying things that you know you're not sure about. So, we're within our limits. So nice to have a bit of pump again, isn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, I keep going. Try and um, attack it because it's not gnarly. It's just um, it's quite hard work. Yeah. So it's good training. Very uppy downy. This is probably one of my least favourite trails here because. How I like to explain it is it can't decide whether it wants to be a downhill or a climb. It's so uppy downy that as soon as you think, oh yeah, this is getting downhill now, it's pretty fun. Oh, it's so nice to be back on a full bounce. Once you get the thing rolling, wow. Flat pedals feel like completely normal now. I think as we got used to them on the hardtail, they feel like nothing now on a full bouncer. Definitely. Bloody ice. Bloody ice, mate. Yes. Oh, so much nicer down here with a bit of full on coil suspension. Oh, I missed the line. Oh, God. Can I get him? Whoa! I had a bit of a front wheel slide on that tree that was down then. First time trying to manual a new beast. Oh, it's different, it's longer. Whoa. I think it's partly because the brake is very different, so my hard cell set up and I'm like, oh that's better, sort of. Go on in. How does it feel Todd, being uh, back on full suspension even on bits like this? It's pretty nice. It is, like, isn't it? We were just saying, feels like a bed of air. Yeah. When you're riding along. He is a bed of air, I'm a bed of spring. So last time we rode with Daniel, Todd's mate, we were winding him up about the fact he can't do a shoelace up. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's not my fault. What's well, not my I fault? I can do it off. Can you? Yeah, do you want to film it? Speed yeah, but you it can't do it up so it stays up. Yeah, I can. Wow, look at his motor skills. Yeah, man. Oh, it's incredible. <sighs> Gnarly. So what have we got to do at the top of every trail now that we keep forgetting about doing because we're now on full bounces? Locking and unlocking the yeah. shock. Forwards for fast. Now, the other thing I hadn't mentioned, I need to let you know of. I, I have got on order some more WTB tires for this bike, 29. Um, because the back one is knackered. I fitted, well, wrestled fitting that cush core and you know, I was excited about riding it and running it. And then the next time I checked my bike, the tire was down. It kept going down and it was a nightmare. And check this out now. So I was wrenching it and twisting it so much that this has happened. It's warped 
Can you see it? Kind of. So that cush core has come out. Still got one in the front. I'm not sure about just having one in the front. And I'm going to put it into the hardtail where actually it's extra damping will probably become more in useful, more in handy, more in useful. <laughs> right, so new bike, sort of new bike for me. And uh, forgot about it again, didn't we? Um, <laughs> so I want to get Todd onto some rocks. That's a lot nicer on full suspension, isn't it? Feels different, but different in a good way. This is nice. Woohoo! Oh, there's a worn inside. That's it, just keep following it. How's the bike feel? Oh, gotta go right wide there. It wasn't too bad going on the inside. These are tacky. I'm actually getting arm pump, which is a surprise. Nice, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite stop at the top look. <laughs> nice of that tree to fall down there, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah. Bloody tree. Yeah. Bloody hell. I'm going to try and do the old line right at the end where it goes up and down the steep bit. Do you want to follow me in? I don't know where you're on about. Follow me and I'll try and show you. Here. Yeah. I'm just gonna ride down there. Yeah, it's a little bit risque for right now that for you. Nice. Very nice. Do you want to that? It's all right. Yeah, little older bit that you did. I know I can most probably do it, but I don't want to risk doing it and myself until all this stuff's over. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Straight into another downhill. This one's pretty good. Not done it in a while, what? as you can tell. <laughs> Yeah, she's on the steep stuff now, steep turns. God, so I'm right on you. <laughs> oh my god Right, so this is a flow trail now, old school. Try and follow me down it, if I can remember where it is. Right. I think it's just down here on the right. It's like proper drifty fun.
Whoa, you're cool. Oh, this looks sick. You can do like three ride flips. Ha ha ha, look, mint. Oh. So a couple of things worth mentioning, just want to let you know the differences in these sort of models of all well, these geometry, the builds of these frames. Todd's here, this is a medium, that's a 16.5, that's a standard medium. Uh, so it's a 29er front and the medium has this brace bar here, 16 and a half height. And his old one was a special 110 heb tube. This is a 120 millimeter. Um, and then he's got his original 650 back end on, which when he gets a bit bigger, we can change to 29 and we can change both the wheels and go mullet. And then if you look at mine, the difference is it doesn't have a brace here because this is a 15 inch standover. Uh, and then obviously it is, I don't know, 50 mil longer. This also is a 120 head tube. So we come to this like little quarry where you can mess about a few jumps and stuff. And there's a bit of a drop here. It's a couple of feet, nothing special, dead easy. So I'm gonna put the camera on to 120 and slow it down so you can see just how the suspension works when it's coming off here. And we'll do it on both the bikes. So we've had a pretty good day here. I think we've exhausted these three jump we now yeah. definitely um let's just hope that we're allowed out after today a bit bit further afield and we can go off to some better places not better just somewhere we're not riding all the time yeah so i hope you like this video if you did leave a like subscribe if you haven't already comment tell us what you thought about it uh Check out the description for any of our affiliate links by any of our sponsors where you can get stuff cheap and also check out merch pintv.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Keep it pinned. Keep it pinned.